Okay, hello guys. This is uh, Control Engineering, uh, Chapter 1, the Introduction. So in this chapter, basically, we're going to um, to see the very basic things that you need to understand before we can proceed further into the syllabus, basically. All right. Um, so control system, basically, you know, is, it, it is very much exists in, in almost everything that we see in our lives these days. All right, so there are two things here. They say that the man made uh, control system, and of course, the God created uh, things. They are, they are basically, you know, you can actually find the underlying control system. All right, for example, the man made control system, you can find control system in CD players, in radio, you know, rocket missiles, robot, even though, you know, simple device like the room air condition. And of course, uh, other than the main met uh, or the main created uh, things, you can also find control system in you know whatever the God created in the whole world. For example, you know, to your body you have uh, level of uh, let's say here level of adrenaline in, in 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 your body. You know, the eye uh, movement, you know, the hand movement, almost everything. All right, so. Control system basically exists in, 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 in almost anything that works that, that we can uh, find around this, basically. Um, and to, well, to do this, basically, you need, a, you know, a control system engineer. Uh, so this control system engineer, basically, you know, the work at the highest level to plan, to, to, to you know, put together, you know, a lot of things to make sure that everything uh, works as, as, as you plan or, or as you intend, basically. Uh, that's, that's very much the work of a control engineer. And um, the benefits of, of using control system, the first one they say here, the power amplification, some of the things that, that, that we want to control is, is, is you know, beyond uh, some, some, some level or, or limits of uh, uh, magnitude of, 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 of power. So, uh, you know, for example, when, when we use control system, we can lift heavy things, we can move heavy things, for example. All right. So something that we cannot uh, maybe move with our arm, but, uh, but we can use machines, we can use control system to move things, to move uh, valve, to move actuator so that they can lift or move uh, uh, much more heavier things. All right, the second one is for the convenience. Uh, of course, uh, you, by using control system, you can program things to run uh, the same. You, you, you can you can program many things to run at the same time. You can you can program things to, to run in sequence. You know, only by 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 push of, of a button. So, for the operator, basically, you can simply sit down and push one button, and you can have sequential of operations running. You can you can you can actuate many things by using control system. And uh, the same thing with the remote control, you know, in some areas that you cannot, you cannot uh, reach in some operation that is not safe for the human being, you can program control system to, to do the job. You know, you can, you can be somewhere, you can be in the remote area, you can command the operation by using a, a you know, push of button. And of course, uh, number four in the noise filtering systems, uh, basically they are very much exposed to uh, in uh, external, uh, I would say, disturbance, for example, air turbulence for an airplane, uh, and, and in some uh, control operation, maybe error due to uh, frictions, error due to mechanical displacement and all that. So uh, this kind of displacement, this kind of, uh, I would say, disturbance is, 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 is a kind of noise or error which you can basically filter, avoid, and of course, make corrections. Um, and of course, in a job that requires repetition, you know, if you use human being, you have to do it. You have to do the same job all the time. But by using control system, you can basically program things that make sure you know you can you can start all of the operation by by a single button, and the system will do it for you uh, many many times. All right. If you look at the history of uh, control system, you know, um, of course, uh, we have here on the record that. Um, this is a water flow uh, clock uh, invented in the year of 300 uh, BC. All right, this is the most earliest one we have in the history in, in the record of history. But you can basically browse through uh, the internet. You will find there are many many uh, invention and design that that utilize control system to simplify the the, the job. For example, all right. Um, 
this is also the history I will, I will, I will skip reading on those things basically you can find all of this information from Google all right so definition of control system basically uh, control system basically provides an output or responses for a given input so as you can see um, from the blocks uh, in green this is a block of control system you can see there is some kind of input and um, on the left all right and then output on the right so the input is basically what the control system is receiving the control system basically will process uh, do whatever they want to do and they will they will produce uh, you know the expected uh, result or, or output basically and the control variable is, is, is normally uh, determine the input and output of control system of course for example down there you have elevator buttons uh, is the desired input or the level and uh, the output or the, uh, the the actual level that the elevator uh, will finally reach is, is basically uh, the output all right and of course the level is the control uh, variable so you can see from uh, this uh, what they call that from this graph they are uh, As you can see from this uh, graph, this is a, a response uh, system of an elevator. The red lines represent the input or the desired level, and the green uh, line is actually the, the, the response of elevator you have. And the y-axis is the level. Okay, the, the elevator start up, started from the ground level going up to the 6th or 7th level, and the x axis is basically the time so once you get into the elevator you push the desired level six uh, which is represented by the red line and over the time you can see the elevator is going up 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 you know one level uh, at a time and then uh, it will reach basically uh, close to level six there but not uh, exactly at, at level six so from this graph, basically the whole green line there is uh, is known as the transition response. You know, so once it once it goes steady, uh, the green line, you know, when once it goes steady, uh, straighten, uh, you will you will call this state as a steady state response. And basically, the difference between the green line and the red line is basically the steady state error. Okay. 